This is the metal that they break over their head. Uh, it's pretty hard. I was wondering how uh, how tough it is. The one guy breaks three over his uh, cranium. Now we can buy all sorts of technical equipment to become Kung Fu masters in the gift shop. I want a pair of nunchucks and uh, death stars. Shuriken. But I might settle for a dolly. <laughs> I might settle for a little dolly. Only the Emperor can wear Imperial Yellow. Take it off! That's my impression of Puyi from The Last Emperor. The Red Theater. I wonder if my hostel did a uh, thing today to come here and see the see the the Gong Fu. They do it, they give you a free ride here if they're dropping people off for the 715 show. I'd be able to get a ride home. I don't know that I would recognize them though. Came up as the Chongwen Workers Cultural Palace on my phone. I think I'll just hop back on the 36 bus. So I'll just walk, walk over to uh, Hong Chao Market, get some subway, and then I'll take the five line home. I wanted to take a walk along Ghost Street anyway tonight. So I'll go up to Beijing uh, Chao, Beijing Chao. So the uh, young boy becomes the abbot of the Shaolin Monastery. I'm assuming that's what it was, the Shaolins, that they were shouting there. Because they showed the destruction of the temple at one point. They kind of allude to it anyway. Everything is very symbolic. See that? It's understandable in any language. But they do show at one point, like, the background screen looks like the, the temple's being terrorized. I paid 280 for my ticket. And then uh, I had not the greatest seat, but nobody was sitting up front. So before the lights went down, I went up and sat in the uh, front row. So I had a pretty good seat for all the action. Kung Fu! I got up to Ilgup in Tong Sudo Muda Kwan, which is, I think, Korean uh, form of karate, very similar to Taekwondo, but simplified. Um, and they kept adding stripes to my belt. I think I had like six blue stripes, so I refused to get a black belt. They wanted me to pay like a thousand dollars or something. I told them they could go fuck themselves. I didn't think the school was that well run administratively. And then it ended up closing for embezzlement from the, from the ninth degree black belt Don. Embezzled on all the money. It was a story, he didn't pay his taxes or something like that was the story. And all of a sudden without any notice, he closed the school. Gave everybody like a week's notice or something. At the end of the week, the school will be closed. Bye. Yeah, I'm gonna go get some subway and walk to the subway. Kung Fu! You can buy a watch too here. <laughs> I love it. It's like old school New York before Giuliani cleaned things up. Try it. Oh, a nice Rolex. Yeah. No, you want yeah. I like that. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
I don't know if I ever actually saw anybody in New York open their coat and have watches attached to the inside of their coat. I might have. I was like a real little kid in the 80s. Kung Fu! Those uh, Shaolin monks that are flexible, they were doing uh, back handsprings with their uh, top of their head instead of their hands. All the weight going on their top of their head and their spine, their neck has to support them. When I was a wrestler, we used to do exercises like uh, we'd lean uh, upside down uh, arch there, what do you call that? On our necks and do like uh, kind of like a push up with your neck, but I would never do a, a handspring on the weight. I guess if you have your form correctly, uh, you still have to be strong and flexible, but the weight's like a cat spine. It's twisting and you know, like a snake spine. The, uh, the weight's moving through you and uh, so. But then they do some other feats of uh, strength too holding themselves up on uh, halberds and spears. It's pretty badass. Chi Pao Chong Sam. Anyway, it was a good show. It lasted just about an hour. To be truth be told, I couldn't wait for it to be over. You pay like 280 with 280 UN to today's exchange rate. Let's figure 6.1 now, figure six. 280, I got a discount. All right, so 196 divided by six. No, that can't be right. Um, 196 divided by six. It's about 32, $33 that my seat cost me there. Ouch. A little expensive, huh? Show me the way to go home. I'm tired and I want to go to bed. I had a little drink about an hour ago. A lot of buses stopped down here. I figured out some of the buses made Give myself a break on trying to walk everywhere. This city's too too filthy air quality to be walking. I enjoy the exercise, but also cut out a lot of time if you need to go across town during the day from one museum to another. After you see all the major sites, you gotta get on the bus. Or else you end up wasting all your time walking from one point to another. The Hong Chiao Market's just down the street this way, and then we get into uh, the subway stop for uh, Tiantan. There's a toy store too to check out. I don't know if it's open. Probably open till about seven, I would think. Next to Hong Chiao Market, I went to the Pro Market and all that already. I thought it would be nice to catch the uh, toy store. <laughs> 